I just want to make a short video to say that I'm American and I support my president and I support my government and although I may not agree with everything that our president subscribes to I may not agree with everything that our government implicates or wants us to follow or I may not agree with every law that we have in this country but at the end of every single day I am an American from the moment that I came out of my mother's birth canal I was an American and it's disgusting and it's disturbing to me that everyday citizens in this country walk around and complain about their country they walk around and they complain about these freedoms they walk around and they have no respect or accountability for being a part of something we we are you guys we're Americans maybe you watching this video might not be American but if you are a citizens of this country a citizen of this country you have citizenship you have a social security number here you have a, a birth certificate you have an, an ID in a state you're an American and no matter how much you try to mentally uh, confuse yourself into thinking or, or psych yourself out or deny that you're not a part of this country. You are. You are. And every single thing that you do from the grocery store that you go to buy your food at and feed yourself with is a result of you being an American. Is a result of this country. Every grocery store, every gas station, every water reservoir the roofs over your head, the hospital that you give birth to your children in. These are all American privileges. And then people will say things like, well, I didn't choose to be in this country. Well, you know what? Now that you have a choice, what are you gonna do with it? Are you going to leave or are you going to stay? Because this is not a country, we don't live in a communist country where you can't do what you want. You can leave. This is the United States of America. You have every right to leave this country. You can leave and you can go to another country and you can follow their laws and guidelines to become a citizen in that country. You don't have to stay here. You don't have to be an American. And if you don't like being American so much and you don't agree with America, then have some freaking conviction for crying out loud. Don't ever use another American made product. Don't ever, don't even drive on the roads that are paid for by the citizens of this country. You wouldn't be able to leave your house. You wouldn't even be able to funk. You wouldn't even, if you really had that type of conviction, you wouldn't be able to exist on this continent, the United States. Stop throwing your country under the bus. Stop with this. Uh, I don't, you don't have to like the president, people. You don't have to like the president. Yes, we had slavery. Yes, we had all these things. But all those things is what brought us to where we are today. So if you exist today, today is all you have. You don't have 40 years ago or, or 100 years ago. You don't have that. That's gone. You don't have the future. All you have is today. And today, if you are a citizen of this country, you are American right now, today. So show some freaking respect and some gratitude. Really. Because... We are not the only country that has trials and tribulations. We are not the only country that has pros and cons. We're not the only country that has people that are, that 
are upset with some of the laws and all these things. This is not, those are not exclusive to the United States of America. But we are one of the only countries that are highly reviewed, revered, and respected. You call it feared, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's disgusting and it's embarrassing that Americans run around and hate being American. But yet you're still here. You still go to work. Still paying attention. Because you have a choice. Well, I don't have a choice. Everybody has a choice. Everyone has a choice. You have a choice. But what you're going to do is you're going to choose what best suits your needs. Your wants and your needs. And that right there, you guys, is where you can find some freaking respect for being American. In your simple, basic, everyday needs. Those things fundamentally are given to you, are privileged to you because you are an American. The Department of Defense, the military, the, the National Guard, these people, these governments make it so you can walk outside your house and not worry about being shot by a freaking militia. You could walk outside your house and go to the grocery store without being uh, suicide bombed in most situations. I want, I want you to really take the time to go and research other countries and what goes on in these countries. And you tell me where America is any different. We're Americans, people. Have some patriotism for crying out loud. Salute the flag. Everything is not... Salute the flag for everything that this country went through. For us to be here today. For us to function. For us to use our cell phones. Cell towers that are put up on this country's ground. I really, really I am disgusted with the amount of disrespect and, and utter disregard for America itself Mom, by and pooped on pizza. American citizens. Mom, the blood pooped on me, pooped on me, see? Ew. Oh, we could buy lottery numbers with that. I'll buy some lotto. We're gonna buy bird numbers. Go change your shirt. Just, just like really, you guys. I had Americans, if you want to, amongst yourself in private, you know, not in a public platform. If you want to talk with people that your loved ones about the things that you dislike about this country, by all means, do. But stop going on public platforms, public environments, group gatherings, and disrespecting your country because it really makes you look bad. It makes you look bad. You are American. You're a part of everything that America does. Whatever Donald Trump does, you're actually a part of that. You might not directly contribute. You might not have directly made that decision. But as an American, yes, you are also accountable. And on that note, Trump 2020, USA, USA. <laughs>